Tanzania is home to almost 55 million people, and many of them are young. One out of five people here are between the ages of 15 and 24. Their future is our country's future, and we need to make sure they are ready to help our nation be healthy and prosperous. Let's imagine she represented all the 8.3 million young people in Tanzania right now, and our country invested in family planning for youth. She is taught sexual and reproductive health in school, she does not feel judged when she seeks information, and she has access to contraception with services that are not expensive. She is able to finish her education, get a good job, and have the number of children she wants at the right time for her. She can plan her future. If this were every young person's reality in Tanzania, there would be fewer unplanned births and fewer deaths of young mothers each year. Each household could support fewer dependents and be more financially secure. Eventually, our population would continue to support proportionally more working-age people and fewer young children. This could help our economy grow faster. In fact, with smaller families, good governance, and the right investments in health, education, jobs, and the economy, we could increase Tanzania's per capita income 16-fold by 2050. Everybody wins. Today, many young women are not using family planning. Only 13% of married young women currently use modern contraception, sometimes due to pressure on new brides to prove their fertility. More than one in four women under age 19 already have children. Teenage pregnancy rates are higher among poor women and those in rural areas. The highest rate is in the western zone, where teenage pregnancy has increased sharply over the last five years. Young people want family planning. Currently, 23% of young married women want to avoid pregnancy, but are not using any contraceptive method. And only 30% of our health facilities offer youth-friendly sexual and reproductive health services. What is our first step? Let's make sure everyone has access to voluntary family planning services, especially youth. We have to coordinate efforts among the highest level of government, the district, ministries, health providers, and importantly, the youth themselves. At the national level, the One Plan 2 includes a strong commitment to support young people's sexual and reproductive health. Leaders at all levels must now bring these policies to action. They need to give all young men and women access to youth-friendly sexual and reproductive health services. This means making a wide range of modern contraceptive methods available, including long-acting methods. Incorporate comprehensive age-appropriate sexuality education in primary and secondary schools and work alongside community and religious leaders to make sure local communities recognize the family planning needs of young people and not treat it as taboo. Family planning equals future planning. Let's make the right investments now because Tanzania's future is in the hands of our youth.